We briefly looked at some consisting features in part one of the video that gives an overview of the Locofy app update 2.30. If you haven't done so, you may watch it as well, the link for which is provided in the description below. This is part two of the video. Welcome to Consisting with Locofy. Consisting is a major and much awaited feature that deserved a video of its own. It's been delayed primarily because we wanted to release it bug free, unlike many other apps that release updates on a daily basis only to keep fixing bugs in the subsequent updates. We want to use the over the air update feature that technology provides us uh, and not abuse it. So let's get into it without further ado. Consisting in Locofy was given a thorough thought before coming up with a design that aligns with Locofy's philosophy of simplification. As such, we came up with a two-step process. Number one, enable consisting. Number two, creating the consist itself. Enabling the consisting itself is a two-step process. Uh, first, checking the enable consisting box and defining at least one speed profile. So uh, let's do it with an example. So here we have a consist of four locos and a single conrail loco that we want to add to the consist. This will give us a chance to look at not only creating a consist but deleting it and recreating it. So first, uh, so first let's enable consisting and define the speed profile for our loco. Go to config options and check the enable scale speed consisting checkbox. Now each speed profile is uh, associated with a track voltage. For example, we already have a previously speed profile of 12 volts. Please note that the app does not know a way to verify the track voltage. You might just as well put any number, but having the actual track voltage helps. So, the track voltage I have from this old laptop power supply uh, that's powering the track is 16.5 volts. So let's add a new profile and set the voltage to 16.5 volts. So we click on add new profile, enter the value 16.5. Now let's set the start speed step. It's the speed step at which the motor just overcomes the beginning uh, static inertial friction. This defines the scale speed of zero. This is very critical because all the other calculations will be based off of it. This and the following procedure to determine the scale speeds is very similar to what we had in the previous version of the firmware. Only that we can define seven steps this time instead of only one even though one is also an option uh, for backwards compatibility, of course. In the future, we will be expanding it to be able to define more speed step. So, let's start that. So it appears that the loco barely starts to move at 16. So now let's, uh, let's define the start step delay. It's a number between zero and start speed step that simulates the slight delay observed in getting the diesel loco rolling. For example, when pulling a heavy train. Uh, let's keep it at four. Now, let's define the speed table itself. For that, you can pick whether to have one speed or seven speed steps for more accuracy. This will be easily expandable to more speed steps in the future if need be. Uh, let's go with the seven speed steps. To determine the scale speeds for each speed step, we can either use a commercially available speedometer or use the Locofy app's inbuilt calculator. This is exactly the same as we did in the previous version of the firmware. You can use a stopwatch 
you can use a smartphone stopwatch and time the length of the test track typically an oval track is better so using this method enter the test track length above and click the green play button in my case it's 15 feet Then time the loco between the markers for the test track. In the case of an oval test track, the starting point could be the ending point as well. And that's what we're going to use. Uh, so it's the bottom of the video of the layout. You'll see there is a yellow marker there. Enter the seconds, uh, which can be up to two decimals. And your scale speed will be automatically calculated for you. Please note that the units need to be set in the previous screen before creating a speed profile as well as the setting the scale itself so let's measure the time for each speed step of the profile so i brought the look around to near to the yellow speed marker and uh, we'll start with speed step one So I'm going to just fast forward I'm just going to take one lap here, but you can take more laps uh, and then average it out. So let's enter the number of seconds. And uh, let's repeat the procedure for the second steep speed step. The first one was the slowest and as we go up the speed steps, it's going to get faster. I'm just going to bring the loco around. We'll keep configuring the speeds uh, this way and uh, all the way to speed step 7.
So as you see, after each speed measurement, we lock the speed to indicate that you have got it configured. By locking, you agree that you have set the accurate scale speeds. Incorrectly speed matched locomotives may result in damage to the locomotive. So finally, select the max speed you want to choose for this local. Um, let's set it to 90 and click save. And there you have it, a speed profile with 16.5 volts. When configuring speed tables, please note that it is dependent on many variables like friction on track, voltage pickup, oiling the gears, running time, etc. For example, if your track suffers a large voltage drop across its length, then measured speeds may not be accurate. If you oil the gears or friction on the track changes in some way, that may affect the scale speeds as well. Another important factor to keep in mind is that scale speeds most definitely differ when cold starting a loco compared to say a loco that had been already running for some time and uh, warmed up its motor. There's many other factors at play here. The motor characteristics at different temperatures, the current, the inductance, oil viscosity in the gears, expansion, contraction of various moving parts and so on. So it's really hard to accommodate for all the factors. So one general rule of thumb is to measure all speed steps for all the locos under same conditions. Finally, the scale speeds are being rounded to the nearest integer in this version. In future, along with more speed steps, we will offer more granularity in the speeds into decimals for more accuracy. Now that we have consisting enabled and a speed profile defined, it's time to add this logo to the consist. Before we do that, we want to remind you that you can simply define multiple speed profiles for different voltages that you plan to run your locos on. For example, your club layout or a friend's house may have a different track voltage. Then all you have to do is switch between the profiles when running on those layouts and maintain the prototypical scale speeds everywhere. Now, to create a consist, go back to the main screen. First, we will delete the existing consist and let all the locals appear individually on the main screen. Click on the actions menu and say delete consist. Uh, gives a warning, say okay. Now that we have all the locals on the main screen now, we'll click on the main menu and hit create consist we'll select all the locals that we need in the consist please note that uh, the locals need to be on the main screen before you can create the consist so we select the lead local uh, let's Use Conrail here and uh, the rear would be the HSF, it's facing reverse, DRGW is facing reverse and uh, we hit consist. You'll see all the locals being added to the consist. Now let's run them all together and see. Please note that all the locals to be added to the consist are different models from different manufacturers. That is, 
Athon, Atlas, Bachman, Toto 2000, and Walters. So how true speed matching can it get? So the long press on the multi loco icon for consists will show all the helpers underneath the lead cone rail. Uh, a consist derives options primarily from the lead, but some are configurable. You can't upgrade or downgrade firmware of a consist. You can see there is no downgrade button here. If there is a power glitch with even one loco, the whole consist behaving as a single entity will reboot. Auto stop and connection loss will stop all the locos in consist and so on. So let's run them and see. So that's it for consisting, hope you liked it, feel free to comment in the comment section below. We will love to hear any feedback, new features, improvements etc. Also don't forget to watch the part 1 of this video, the link for which is provided in the description below that details some of the other cool features of this update. Thank you.